All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick involving the two red aces. And what I want to do is let's say we leave these off to the side and then later on I'll bring those back up. So at this point, let's say we have you guys pick a card. So what you could do is you could call out stop as I'm going through the deck um, or you could just tap a card on the back. So let's say you wanted to pick this card right here. I'll let you guys look at it. As you guys can see, it is the ace of clubs. So um, in all honesty, I actually knew you were going to pick that card because what happens is when I snap my fingers, the two aces over here should reveal one card in between and it should be the soulmate, the ace of spades. So this is the trick, guys, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so the only uh, bad part about this trick is that it does require a setup, but it's not really anything too bad. So what you want to do is just get the two red aces out and then the other two black aces, and these are going to go... Uh, right on top. So you take the two black aces, make sure the ace of spades is on top, and then you have the two other red aces um, on top of that. So uh, from here, you just take them, you just take them off. Make sure not to explain them too much. Just say, look, I'm just going to be using these two red aces. And as you're kind of just flashing these around, you are getting a pinky break underneath the top card. And then um, as you're telling the spectator that you're going to be, you know, using these later on in the trick. You just put them both of them on top of the pinky break so now you have a three card break pick this up in the middle grip slide the top card off and now you have a two card packet and then you square this up and say I'm gonna leave these two aces off to the side for now you square everything up and now you have a card in between them so these are squared up and you say I'm gonna leave this off to the side or you could have the spectator hold them in their hands but make sure they don't you know spread them around too much and then uh, at this point you have the ace of clubs on top so all you have to do um, is force this card so what I did was simple I just kind of riffled, uh, riffle shuffled the deck leaving it on top and then I did a really simple it's kind of like a coal force but not really um, what I did was I kind of just kind of casually told the spectators um, to tell me when to stop and all you're doing is you're taking the spectator's card and putting it the first down in your right hand. So you say, you know what, go ahead and tell me when to stop. You could do a couple cards and then say, actually, you know what, actually just touch a card. So you're kind of doing this real casual motion, but really you're just loading that ace of clubs um, into position. So you're just spreading the cards in your hand. You have these cards in your right hand. And so you know what, actually just touch a card. So now you're just doing a regular spread of the deck. And what you do is as they you want to kind of go one by one you can if you want to and as they touch a card make sure they don't grab it out make sure that they just touch it so let's say they touched this card right here so what you do is from the front as you guys can see I still have that packet right here so if they tapped this card right here you're going to push together the decks and slide the card with you the ace of clubs right here you slide that together and that goes on top. You're doing that face down, so here you square everything up, show it to the spectator, and now the ace of clubs is going to be uh, their chosen card. So I'll do that one more time in fast motion. Let's say the ace of clubs is on top. You say, uh, go ahead, tell me when to stop. Uh, actually, you know what? Go ahead and just touch a card. So you say that. They touch this card here. You pick this up, and all you have to do is square your right hand up at the deck. Underneath it, it's just squaring up. The Ace of Clubs is going to be their chosen card. You show it to the spectator. You can close up the deck and you say, you know what? I actually knew you were going to pick the Ace of Clubs. And then if they're holding the cards in their hand, you can tell them just go ahead and spread through those aces. And you should find, you see the cards in the middle. You say, look, you should find the soulmate, the Ace of Spades. You flip it over and then that is their card. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. Uh, don't worry. Um, I'm going to be going through the winners of the contest soon. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you.